Today is January 24th, uh, 2024, and I just finished up a uh, another session practicing in my utility room, dark room. And that is where I've gone through some older uh, 35 millimeter uh, photos. I think these were taken back in probably 2016. I selected an image and today's exercise was about how long does it take to set this all up? And I'm, I'm not looking for rush time racing. It's just consistent uh, time to set everything up and then uh, do a test print and then see how many prints I can make that are the same. Um, so this is a tractor in a field in Lemoyne, Maine. And uh, it's, it, there's a funny color cast to it because of the color lighting I have here. Uh, but I made 10 more prints. And uh, I'm very, very pleased. They're all just about nearly identical. Um, I'm self-taught in what I'm doing. Fortunately, I have the resources of individuals like John Finch, who lives uh, in uh, Northern Scotland. Uh, and this is a wonderful book I've been using, but then some of the older, uh, the older books. Um, this other book uh, by Tim Rudman was also recommended by John Finch. So, uh, yeah, setting my timers up, using contrast filters, dodging some of the, the light. Uh, and uh, there you go. I've got uh, 10 prints. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is, I doubt I can get out here, uh, the lights are off, but I was able to acquire a dry mount press. Um, let's see if we can get this light on. Dry mount press off of uh, Facebook Marketplace for a very reasonable price. There it is underneath there, which is like a, a laundry press. And this is an adhesive. And I'm going to experiment next with dry mounting uh, those photos in here. Uh, to a backing board of some kind. We'll get out of the living area. Anyway, uh, that is what today has been about.